if you are struggling with lust, just know that I've been there before. And I know how sometimes it could feel like you can never get out of that cycle. And even sometimes you might break free of that cycle for like a few weeks or a few months, and then you'll fall right back into that same sin. Just know this. You need to change your perspective when it comes to lust. Specifically, I'm talking about when we go on the Internet and we watch certain videos that we shouldn't be watching and then we do things to ourselves that we shouldn't be doing that. This is specifically what I'm talking about when I say lust. Here's the mindset change that I need y'all to make. And this really changed my entire view on lust and it's helped me overcome it. You have to understand that lust has a purpose. The purpose of lust is to get you off of your God-given purpose, of the God-given destiny that God has given to you in your life. The purpose of lust is to make you comfortable, is to make you satisfied, is to make you content with where you are in your life. All right? And when lust comes, it is a direct attack on you spiritually, and it is a direct attack on your Father in heaven, God. It is a direct attack against Him. And every time we give in to lust, we are giving in to the wicked ways of Satan. Every time we give in to lust, we are giving in to the wicked ways of Satan. So next time you are tempted with lust, Think of it as a literal battle, a literal fight for your purpose. You have God on one side who is saying, my son, my daughter, come, come to me. I always give you a way out. Even though Satan tempts you, come to me. I always give you a way out. And then on the other hand, you have Satan sitting there chilling like, hey, it's just one more time. It's just one more video. I mean, you can get back to your purpose after after you watch this video. You, you can get right back to it. Think of it as a literal battle. And you need to see God and you need to see Satan and you need to choose God every single time in every situation that you are struggling and battling with, with lust. In that very moment, you need to make a conscious decision to choose God because you are not strong enough to defeat lust on your own. You are not strong enough to defeat lust on your own. Look at King Solomon. King Solomon was literally the wisest man to ever live and who will ever live. King Solomon had everything. He had everything. He had everything. And you know what he struggled with? He struggled with his appetite for many women. Many women. King Solomon had access to as many women as he wanted. And he pretty much had all the women that he wanted. He had like 500 wives, uh, 200 concubines. I mean, this dude did not spare himself of any lustful desire. And look what happened to King Solomon. As a result of him giving into this lust with all these many women, he, it ended up with him worshiping false gods. It ended up with him falling away from God. It ended up with him falling out of grace and out of his anointing and out of his purpose. This is the same thing that's happening. We can go on the Internet and we can have many women in a in a in an instant. We can have many women. We can have many men, whatever you're into. We can have many of these men and women as as at, at the touch of our finger, many of them at one time without any restraint. And the same thing that happened to King Solomon is the same thing that's going to happen to you if you continue to allow yourself to have many women, many men through the form of these videos that you're watching online. It's going to drive you out of your purpose. It's going to drive you out of the anointing that God has placed on your life. It is going it is going to cause you to worship these false idols of this world. You have to understand that when you are battling with lust, it is an attack and a direct attack against God. Stop giving in to the things of Satan. The Bible says if you do the things of Satan, then that is because he is your father. Do not do the things of Satan. Do the things of God. Be righteous. Have self-control. Have restraint. Have respect. And understand that your purpose is is on the line. Your purpose is on the line. I can't tell you how many years I've wasted battling with lust 
and how many years it drove me away from my purpose. There is a direct correlation between lust and your purpose. The more that you give in to lust, the less that you will actually fulfill your purpose. Like this video. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. I'm out.